The arrow has already travelled about 3 metres when it appears in the frame. The target is 30 metres away, and these arrows are travelling initially at 63 metres per second, or 206 feet per second. The top arrow is fletched normally with three spin wing vanes and is rotating clockwise. The bottom arrow has the same vanes but applied back to front, which forces the arrow to rotate in the other direction. However, the shape of the vane is only made to work in one direction, so very little rotation of the arrow happens until near the end. Now we have the same arrow in the top frame, but instead the vanes have been removed in the bottom frame. As the spin rings only weigh a few grains, both arrows vibrate at nearly the same frequency, which is about 83 times a second. This particular frequency means that this weight of arrow, shot from this exact bow, bends around the bow window without any clearance problems, and leaves the string at the right part of the vibration cycle so that it flies in a straight line from a very short distance out to 70 meters. As the arrow gets further away, we can see the vibration is damped somewhat with the vanes. This is easier to see with the two arrows overlaid on each other. The bear shaft has both a slightly higher frequency and is moving slightly faster due to experiencing slightly less drag and weighing three grains less. As there is about two hertz difference in their vibration frequencies, the two arrows end up out of phase by the time they hit the target. For comparison, here we have an arrow that has been intentionally adjusted to make it behave slightly too weak. In this case, I increased the point weight by 30 grains, and now this arrow bends slightly too slowly for the bow, which means that the shaft is pointing away from the target when it leaves the bow.